Roger, TV circuit breakers in. Eight five clear. Roger. And we're getting a picture on the TV. TV. Okay. We got a good picture, huh? Uh, there's a great deal of contrast in it. Well, so 50 years back, in the year 1969, we first stepped on the moon. Well, by now, in the 2019, we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission, 50 years back, which was launched by the NASA in the year 1969. And now it's time to explore the moon once again. Watch the video till the end. And now, after 50 years, by 2019, world's number one space company, SpaceX is now planning to go back to the moon by 2023. The name was at first BFO and now is replaced as simply SpaceX Starship. On the other side, according to the NASA's Administrator Jim Brandenstein, NASA is planning for the Artemis. Enormous amount of force to move those, to move those wings, sort of in the mega Newton um, class of, of, of force. Um, the, the, the third uh, bit, wing, wing like structure is actually does not actuate and, and it is not a vertical stabilizer. SpaceX Starship is not just a space shuttle. It is way more larger than the other space shuttles and other spaceships. It has the capacity to carry about 100 astronauts at a time, has the capacity to carry about 150 tons of loads and it is reusable. It has the SHS system that is the Super Theory and the Starship system, also formerly known as the BFR system. Well, that's not the end about the SpaceX Starship. The SpaceX Starship has the total length of 387 feet and has the weight of 4 million kilograms. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk believes that his team can land the Starship spacecraft on the moon earliest by the year 2021 which would be followed by a crewed mission on the year or two later. At recent, the SpaceX are conducting some prototype starships. On 16th of July, a prototype starship also known as Starhopper was launched. I make videos related to the science and space. To get more space videos like this, subscribe this channel and hit a like.